Having spent over a decade in the fintech field, I have seen all kinds of companies. Good companies with bad marketing, bad companies with good marketing, and clear scams that you should avoid at all costs. As the fintech field becomes more competitive, the number of bad actors is increasing as well. Therefore, it is crucial to be even more vigilant. In this video, I will tell you several easy ways to quickly detect scams or something that is likely to be a scam. This information can be helpful when you are considering buying a service or a product from a website or investing in a cryptocurrency, but you are unsure if it is legitimate. So buckle up, we're going to have some fun. Without further ado, let's get rolling. The first thing you want to pay attention to is the website. Is it made from a template? Does it have enough content? How well is the content written? Let's take a look at this website. How do we know if it's a legitimate website? How do we know how well the company is performing. Here's a little trick. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and check if the team has updated its footer section. Usually when teams run out of funds or something is not working well in the company, people, team members are not on top of their game. You see, these guys did not even update the year. It is 2023 now, but on the website, it is still, it still says 2022. Would I invest in battle world? Obviously not. Maybe it's not a scam, but I can clearly say that this company is not doing well. Battle world might not be a scam, but it's not a good project either. This project seems like a scam to me. First, we see that the footer is not updated, 2022 but this is just the beginning. Always pay attention to similar web. What do we see? Use similar web to check the traffic. When you see anomalies like this, 215,000 people, monthly visitors back in March, and then barely any traffic in May, 2023. When you see spikes like that, when you see drastic changes in traffic, it's likely due to fake traffic being purchased in the first place. It looks like fake traffic was purchased initially followed by a major decrease in monthly visitors. If you take a look at the team page, you will discover more red flags. Scam companies usually have professionally looking photos featured and no links to social profiles. They may also have long and extensive descriptions, but no links to any social profiles. And if you manage to find any social profiles, you will also discover red flags. There will be no mutual connections. There'll likely be a lot of bots following a, a particular page, but you won't see any mutual connections on LinkedIn, for example. Some scammers create social profiles, but those social profiles look really, really fake. In most cases, you will see too many endorsements and no mutual connections, as I already mentioned. Next thing you should pay attention to is grammar mistakes. Take a look at the text, read articles, take a look at descriptions. A lot of scammers are not good at crafting grammatically error-free texts. It's just how it is. If you pay attention, you will notice an error or two here and there. You will spot discrepancies. Just pay attention to descriptions. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Also, if you check the blog section, you won't find any author listed. It's just something generic like admin. No matter what you examine, it looks sloppy. Everything on this website, everything associated with buy trade looks sloppy and shady. Let's review another example. Deep space. Does it seem promising to you? Let's scroll down all the way to the footer. It still shows 2022 in the footer and the last news was published back in April. Maybe it's not a scam project, but it's clearly a dead project and you don't want to invest in a deep space token. There is one more thing, one more tool I want to share with you. 
it's something that can give you an even better understanding of a project. If you're a tech person, you're probably familiar with the term CMS, Content Management System. In the modern age, anyone can create a website. You can easily install a template on WordPress and hmm, you have a website. Unfortunately, you won't be able to build a serious fintech platform on WordPress. For that, you need a custom content management system. I'm going to show you a tool that can help you discover what content management system is being used by a particular company. The tool is called whatcms.org. And what you can do is you can just copy and paste your website's URL and see the results. In one of my previous videos, I reviewed Ergo. Let's take a look at this website and see what CMS these guys are using. As you can see, this is a serious website. Now let's take a look at this relatively new coin. Money Byte. This platform uses WordPress. This website is built on WordPress. So even if you don't know anything about a particular project, you can always gain a general sense of what is going on. I showed you a few basic steps that you can follow to detect suspicious activities, suspicious things related to a particular crypto related organization or a fintech startup. There are more, there are more tools and more ways of discovering vulnerabilities of uh, noticing suspicious things. And we will continue talking about all of them in my upcoming videos. But for now, this should be enough for you to run basic due diligence. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.